Morning reception, welcome to Tuesday's phonic lesson. So today we're going to start with a quick write. To begin with, we're going to write some of our phonemes, our digraphs, trigraphs, um, and see how quickly we can recall them and have a go at writing them on a piece of paper or a board if you've got a board in front of you. So the first one I'd like you to have a go at writing is the phoneme ch. ch. Can you write the grapheme to match? Well done. If you need some more time, pause your video. If not, I'm going to write mine so you can check. So we go all the way down with Jack in the box and a dot for his head. Well done. Okay, the next one I'd like you to write is hmm. Can you write the grapheme for hmm? Well done. This one always is tricky because there's lots of ups and downs and we need to keep going over the lines that we've already written. So pause the video if you need some more time. But this is how we write the graphing for hmm. So down Maisie. Let's go back up. Over the mountain. And then over the mountain again. Now your one I'm hoping will have joined there in the middle. Down Maisie, over the mountain, I'm going to try really carefully to keep my pen still, and over the mountain, perfect, well done. Okay, next one, can you have a go at writing the digraph? Well done. Let's write the grapheme that matches that digraph. Again, if you need more time, just pause your video. We should have written down the tower, across the tower, and then our H for the horse. So we go down the horse's head to his hooves, back up, over his back, down his feet. Well done. Okay, and the last one I want you to write this morning is the digraph A. A. Can you write the graphing that matches the A digraph? Well done. Again, pause yourself if you need some more time, but you should have written the A, which is all the way around the apple, goes down the leaf, and then down the insect body, and a dot for his head. Well done. Okay, so today we're going to be learning to read and write the OW digraph. Ow. It looks like this. There's these two letters here together, the O and the W, make the ow digraph. So when we see it, that's what we say. We say ow, like we've heard ourselves going ow, ow. My turn, ow. Your turn, my turn, ow. Your turn. Well we're going to have a go at our dice game today. So again, when you see the digraph that we've been learning today, so ow, then we're going to say ow. If we don't see it, let's get ready. Ow. 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 Maybe one more. Well done if you only said the ow digraph when you spotted it. So when we write it, we have written the O so many times over the last few weeks. So we should be experts now at writing the O and we'll practice our W going up and down the worm. So when we do our O, we start at the top and we go all the way round. Oh, that was not a very good attempt there. Shall I try that one again? Shall I improve my learning? Lose his mouth, he's being a little bit funny. Let's try again. Start at the 
top we go all the way around the orange back to the top and then when we do our ooh, the W we say down the worm up the worm we try and keep nice and pointy down the worm up the worm I'll write it again here so you can see it yours again will look much better than mine I'm sure so all the way around the orange back to the top and then we're going to go down the worm up the worm down the worm up the worm well done okay let's have a go reading some of the words that have got this ow digraph in there let's point to the sound buttons and we're going to read them as i point Brown, 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 yeah. Oh my god, guys, you're making a frown on your face. Well done. Next one is b ow, b ow. Well done, bow. And the last one that we're going to read is ow, ooh, ow, ooh. Ow. Yeah, well done. So let's have a go at using our arms for segmenting. So we're going to segment the word that a picture of. That's right, it's a cow. So we're going to segment the word cow. Listen for how many sounds you can hear. Ready? Cow. K ow. How many sounds did you hear? Listen again. K ow. Cow, that's right, well done. So you should be able to just draw two sound boxes today and have a go at writing it in. If you're ready, this is what yours should look like. Cow. Cow. Well done if it matches. Okay, chili challenge time. So our first chili challenge is can you write the digraph three times? Can you write the OW digraph three times? The second chili challenge is can you pick a picture and write the word that matches? Let's just check you know what they all are. This person is giving us a bow. Bow. This one is the colour brown. This wolf is howling. So I'd like you to write howl. This is a clown and we have a crown a crown well done see which one you'd like to pick and write the word and the third chili challenge is to write a sentence to go with one of the pictures again if you want your golden challenge for today where you have to remember your sentence and count how many words before you write it down then your sentence today going to be I went down the steep steps. Let's do that again. Ready to count them. I went down the steep steps. How many words did you make? Well done, there were six. Um, remembering every single word needs to have a space in between it to make sure that we can read your sentence. Have your capital letter and your full stop. Okay, we look forward to seeing it. We'll see you tomorrow, reception. Bye.